The latest phase of the Menor Marsh restoration project has recently taken place with the aerial seeding of approximately 40 acres of marsh east of Corduroy Road. We caught up with Dave Kriska with the Cleveland Museum of Natural History to give us an update on the status of the project. We're here today at Menor Marsh State Nature Preserve and we're going to be putting down 200 million seeds of native marsh plants from grasses and sedges and wetland plants like blue flag iris and swamp mallow like a hibiscus and, and then they'll germinate for the next 30 days or so and then we'll start seeing some of these guys coming up and it's all part of restoring the marsh. Tell us about the importance of biodiversity. Why did you remove the Phragmites and replace them with these plants? We've been working on trying to get rid of that monoculture because those monocultures are notoriously unstable the threat to the homes that were there. It's burned about a dozen times. Anybody that uh, is under the age of 50 just grew up with this, thinking that this is the way it's supposed to look. Well, you'll see that it's, we're gonna change into a mosaic of different kind of habitats. There's some trees out there. We're gonna be putting some pools in out there for rare turtles that used to be here, like spotted turtles and blandies turtles. So it's been really exciting. It's a classic build and they'll come kind of story. And so we're excited to put these seeds in and create more habitat. So when can we expect all this to start greening up? Start to see it greening up in June. Uh, if, we're, if we're fortunate. Stuff will start to come back and then when it gets really warm in July you get the warm season plants that'll come up and so by the end of July, August you'll really notice that the west of Corduroy Road is looking really luscious with green growth and that's all coming out of the soil seed bank on the west of Corduroy. Several more years and that will be all filled in, that's our goal to get it a mosaic of these marsh plants, irises, it'll be beautiful and there'll be tons of wildlife showing for it. And that's going to put Mentor on the map. Uh, we've already got the Mentor Headland State Park which is the top bird watching destination in the state, close behind McGee Marsh. With the restoration of Menor Marsh, it's going to give McGee Marsh, which is one of the top five sites in the nation for bird watching, uh, a run for its money. And that's going to help the local community with the economy, bed and breakfasts, and ecotourism. So this is a win win for the city and the Museum of Natural History. We're all looking forward to witnessing the return of the marsh as well as the wildlife in the coming years.